Good morning. I just woke up. Well, it's like 6.30. Um, but I wanted to go look outside. It's very fresh, beautiful, it's crisp, it's really cold out. You hear birds chirping. I think I'm gonna meditate for a little bit, I think. Because um, our Airbnb said this patio area um, is kind of like a, it's like connected on the line between the vortexes, the Sedona vortexes of I think Cathedral Rock and another vortex. So they said that the energy flows through here. And then obviously with the dome house and the crystals, it amplifies the energy. So there's like this whole area is like energetically enhanced. I don't know necessarily if I'm, if that's, I'm excited to like figure out like if that actually is like real, if you can feel it or not. That's what I'm excited about. I don't know. I don't think you do, but I want to see if I can go to those places or even connect in a certain way, like the patio and see if I can feel it. I don't know if I'm feeling it or I'm just cold because <laughs> I have goosebumps. But I'm going to meditate a little bit. This was so interesting. Good morning, sleepyhead. Look at her skinny. Skinny. Oh, skinny. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Isn't it? I've always wanted to go hot, hot air balloon. Yo, honestly, I'd be down. I'd be down too. I like, I like the sofa. Did you sleep well? Mm-hmm. I slept well, too. People have felt the power of Sedona's vortexes for many years. But there are special places around Sedona where the life force of the Earth is especially strong. Hmm. What can I do to feel the vortex energy? There are no guarantees when it comes to feeling vortex energy. Try to have no expectations, bitch. <laughs> I actually really appreciate being in the corner a lot. I know, we're like at the very back, yeah, like, but it's like not, look, what air balloon for you? Oh, that's so cute. It's... I was touching the dome. <laughs> the Do you feel the energy? One with the dome. One with the dome. Hey guys, it's Kylie. And so, you will never not hear me say that, period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have Myself read to filth by tarot cards. You ready, psychic? Maybe just spread them out mm -hmm. in a line. Perfect. People next door will be like, "What are they summoning?" <laughs> okay. You want me to lay them out for you? Sure. And take your time and pick three of out. Oh. One, two, three. Oh my god. <laughs> so nerve wracking. I kind of want to do this too. So your first card is energy output. Energy output. So this is represents where you're expending too much of your energy. Hmm. So you've already manifested all of this. All of this. So whatever you're good. So you where don't have at, to. I guess. What yeah, I think that's what it means. Because this is what you're expending a lot of energy in. So I think it's kind of like reassuring you, like you're energetically there for whatever goals or whatever aspirations you, you have. You have it out. You don't you need have... to keep thinking about. 
trying to make it happen. Or yeah. yeah, like you've already like launched it, so just keep going with it. <laughs> you've already manifested that. The next one is energy lack. We'll show you where you are lacking to effectively flow your energy into. It's all about like your past, like things that you might be reliving, reliving, or things like that you don't want to. You might think you've moved past, but it still like emotionally has an impact on you. This is freaky. Sh and the third one, take a moment to ask yourself why this is. Focus area is higher guidance trying to pull your attention back to where it's needed most for your highest good. Me. <laughs> I think that's interesting how you got two moon cards. Mm. So you're Libra? Yeah. So full moon in Libra, it says influencing healthier relationships with those close to you. Create, create Creativity <laughs> increases. That's specifically for you and Libra. That was very enlightening, actually. That was a good summary of both those cards, actually. I think so, too. It was a good, that was like, good. All, mm -hmm. all in. Wow. Energy. Period. Thank you. <laughs> Sickening. Yes. Love that for you. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, Opportunity for change. Who? With every other card oh, except crazy. for this one. Oh, my God. You flipped on the right page. Opportunity for change signifies adventure, change, freedom, exploration, and expansion. Well, this card is take, talking to you about options. It's time for you to consider other possibilities. If you <gasps> felt like you're <gasps> stuck in a oh, current situation, <laughs> there is a hard-won lesson to be learned here in this experience, and you're now ready to move on and away from it. Okay, you're right. Like, eerily accurate. Like, eerily. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> and it was where she opened the page, and, it's, and it yeah, was right on the card. A lot of things card. kind of lined oh, up with that, too. Well, wow. Energy. Period. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting having her drive now. Off, new mother, mothers to be on neither. The most poppin' spot. It's I'm sure. I'm so sure. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good. How are we feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> that was supposed to be the devil. Ah! Wow. Look at that. I'm going to stop acting like an idiot. Hey guys, it's Kylie. Yeah, <laughs> Hot girl summer. Hot girl summer. Hot girl fall. Hot girl fall. <laughs> Charlie's in 
angel. <laughs> Thank you, nature. She really said architectural digest. <laughs> I'll have us an ass shot of her all. <laughs> that that thing right there. That. Oh. Yeah. We got 10 seconds. Wait, we should go Uh-uh, this is not it. Take one? Oh, shit. 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 Oh, Oh, no, 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 good, good, good. Sorry. Oh, Maybe I'll stop. Okay, so here's the bridge. Okay, look. I'm stupid and I'm gonna go see if I can jump across. Whoa. Oh, hell no. Who did this? People were jumping on that. So you know me, I like adventure. I like to be stupid. Um, I wanted to jump this. I think I can. Should I? Yeah. Probably not. Can I do it though? Probably. No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't do it. I recommend not to. That's a gorgeous view. <laughs> How do you feel about that? It wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as you thought it'd be, right? It's a lot wider over there. It's like, honestly, parts of the hike are even more... Worse like, than that, yeah, right? more of a ledge than, than this one. Don't let fear stop you. Period. Be reckless. Don't let it paralyze you. Yeah. Don't let it paralyze you, but don't do stupid shit. But also, <laughs> have some common sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl. Don't be playing that kind of game. That's when you fall. Oh my god. That, oh my god. That actually. Okay. Oh my god. No. 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 Oh my god. Period. That's a good shot. Mm. Mm. Wait. This is okay now. Okay, cute. Five bridge. Did I jump over the thing? Okay, just move. Come on. Okay. We're headed out. Period. <laughs> I think I'll definitely do that again. Cause it's not that bad of a hike and it's super cool. The views are gorgeous. Definitely would 100% do that again.